Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna do something a little unusual and a little different, and we're gonna try and make us a corn tenna. And we're gonna use uh, these nice green, fresh corn stalks that are uh, pushing some good ears right now. And they're about eight foot tall. And there should be a lot of moisture down the center of these stalks to uh, hopefully move some current and radiate some energy off our radio. Now we're gonna put two of these eight foot stalks together. I'm gonna bond them together at the ends and we're gonna make a 16 feet. And hopefully uh, that'll resonate on 20 meters and we can make some calls. I don't know if it's gonna work. We won't know till we try. Let's go see what we can do, come on. Here's the plan. I've got this uh, one by two board, two of them tied together, and we're gonna mount that on my mast right here. And we're actually gonna come up with coax in this project from the radio. So we're gonna let the G90, the Zygu G90 tune, auto tune the uh, the corn tenna and see how uh, we'll test the old uh, theory that the G90 can uh, tune up anything. So we're going to mount the board here and then uh, the corn stalk will start here and work its way up up the board. Well we've got the corn tenna put together. There is some assembly required on the corn tenna. We've got our metal mast coming up to our uh, connector there and then the bottom of the corn stalk goes up about eight foot and then it'll connect to the second corn stalk and go the rest of the way. We'll get a full measurement on that. So the plan is I built uh, this uh, alligator clip with a wire and then some copper wire. So I'm gonna connect the alligator clip here and I'm gonna shove the wire right up the bottom of this stalk, right inside there and shove it up as far as I can into the stalk to get as much contact as I can. All right, we're gonna do that next. Okay, so we'll shove this much copper wire up there. I think it's about as far as I'm gonna be able to get shoved up in there. There's a joint up here that I'm gonna have trouble pushing through, I think. So then we'll connect this right to there and our coax will come up the bottom and uh, see what happens. So we've got the bottom stalk connected. Now we gotta bond the two together. So the second stalk starts right here and the first stalk stops right here. So I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna use this piece of wire to bond the two together. So now we bonded the two stalks together coming out the top of the bottom one with copper wire shoved down in, into the center of the stalk. And this one here is going right up the center of that stalk and up into there. So that's our bond between the two stalks for our corn tenna. Let's get her mounted. There she is, the corn tenna. So we had to, uh, take off the top leaves because there's too much wind drag on it. Left a few on the bottom, might be still too much. So hanging a little crooked, hopefully it'll hold up. We'll see. So we've got the corn tenna, we've got 16 foot radials coming down. I got them alligator clip to the fence. I've got one coming down the other side, alligator clipped to the fence over there. And I've got my third one coming up and over the uh, shelter here. So I got it leaning towards the wind. So hopefully that'll uh, help us out a little. It's a little heavy. Uh, I might have to make some little better modifications to the corn antenna. But that's it so far. We got the antenna analyzer out here. We're going to look and see what our 
resonance is. Let's see, let's climb up here to 14 200s. It's about a 20 to 1. 14, 14. 320 to 1 about. Okay, let's do an SWR sweep and see what it looks like here. Okay, it's all along the top of the scale. It's maxed out at the top. All right, let's clear that. Okay, let's do a tune. Let's see if she tunes her up. Stand by. Okay, we got lots of clicking. Let's do another scan sweep here. All right. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's uh, one for one to the tail end of the band, and I'm uh, all within operating frequencies. Okay, that looks great. Good job, G90. All right, let's go make some calls. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, Kilo Lima Bravo, QSL? Uh, kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, do you copy? Roger, Roger, Skip, you're 5-5, five, five, and uh, this is Kevin in Iowa. How copy, over? Roger, Roger, good. I've got you about a, let's see, about a 4-3, four, 4-3, three, four, three, QSL. Is that Kilo, Kilo, uh, Kilo Lima Bravo? Roger, 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 you're 5-3, five, 5-3, three, five, three, Iowa, QSL. Thank you for the 5-3 in Iowa. I do appreciate that. Hopefully you're having a great day. Uh, thanks for hunting me down. You take care. Yeah, I think it was Kilo Zero. Question mark? Kilo Zero. Kilo Lima Bravo. QSL? All right, if I got that, Kilo Zero. Kilo Zero. Kilo Lima Bravo. Roger? Roger, Roger. You're 5353 Iowa, India Alpha. QSL? Well, I'm not sure if I got that right or not. Uh, I guess try it one more time. Roger, 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 K0, KLB, you're 5353 Iowa, QSL. Wow, there's, there's just something going on with the band. I just, I just completely lost you. Kilo Zero, Kilo Lima Bravo, Roger, Roger, 53 Iowa. Well, that was Jim in Florida at the YL system. I could hear him about a 5'3", five, 5'4", five, but he couldn't hear me. It's kind of the way the conditions have been today. Uh, I got my first two calls this morning right at 8.30 and 9 o'clock. After that, I haven't had any other calls um, since then. The band kind of quieted down after that first shot this morning. Uh, could be two reasons for that. Could be band conditions for the day. Or it could be that I'm using a corn stalk for an antenna. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? I'm happy with two calls. Uh, both of them were Texas. That's great. And uh, I got out and made a couple QSOs, so I'm happy with that. So, you know, uh, I call, I'll call it a success. So thanks for watching and stopping by. I appreciate it, everybody. 7-3. Just a quick after note. The, uh, it was so hot and windy today, the moisture in the stalk evaporated so much. It's dry as a bone in there. So that's uh, probably had a lot to do with uh, my transmitting abilities. Uh, the moisture that I was using as my conductor is gone. So it's all dried out. So, but it worked there for a while there early in the morning. And uh, we, did, uh, we did send some signals out early. But as the day got hotter and windier and drier, this is all dried out. Okay, that's it.